Back up. Come on, back up. So on this episode, we'll be working on the 54 Chevy. It's back for some new tail lights. So these are the stock tail lights, which I do believe these are the custom lead lenses. Uh, if you recall, we did the uh, 55 Chevy bumper there uh, uh, six, eight months ago. So we're going to be pulling these off, reworking the quarters, possibly getting rid of the fuel door. I'm not sure yet, but uh, got some work ahead. Now that I have air conditioning in my shop, it should be a heck of a lot easier to get things done. At least a little less sweaty. Whoever put these things on here when they painted the car or whenever, they siliconed them on. They're uh, stuck something fierce. So these are the taillights we're going to be using. These are, I think, 51, 52 Oldsmobile. And this is a 52 Ford trim ring. It turns out that these things actually fit into each other perfectly for a perfect Frenching ring. It uh, should uh, shave a pretty cool look onto the back of it, you know, like a little, like a little nipple. I need to make a mount to mount the back on here, which should be pretty simple. Notch out for the pins there. Other than that, I think easy money. So the way this thing's gonna fit, it's gonna mount somewhere in this ballpark here. Um, then I'm gonna take and extend this portion out here to match the bumper here, roll into the bottom, and then I'll trim the top off here and then make this roll into the light. Then I'll have to work the, the quarter panels in to blend them through everything. So I think it's going to be a good look. First thing I do is uh, strip all this paint off and start cutting. I don't plan on uh, taking the bumper off yet. At some point I'll have to pull it for the welding. But right now I'm just going to mask the thing up with some tape so I don't uh, screw it up. Using my uh, giant post-it note pads, this actually makes good, uh, well, it's good for everything because it stays together. And it uh, turns out that your work has a bunch of them lying around that apparently are free. Uh-oh. Found some of that uh, plastic. So it looks like this car was uh, hit on this side at one point. As they can see, they put the filler right over the paint, so that was awesome. Shouldn't be a problem for us, though. Now that the uh, bad part is done, you can let the fun begin. So the ring here, the 52 Ford, I took and I notched, get that in there. I took and I notched for those pins for where the screws are. See right there. That also happens to be the screws for right, uh, the mounting screws. Then you'll notice in the center, you got this rib here. So I want that to stay this way. So the screws being true top and bottom. 
mark the center there. And uh, come on over here. Find the center. Center of this guy. Getting these things straight, you pretty much got like one shot. That lined up. With our light. That stupid pigtail. Get that lined up with that center mark. So it's just a matter of uh, figuring out where it's going to land. Which I'm going to root for more of the. Uh, higher end of it. Just let me mark it there. Then uh, stick this thing on with some magnets or something and see how it sits. Sit back there. Because this will trim back here. Then roll into it. And this will come down to about here. Also, this thing has to meet back with the fender and make some sort of sense. So we probably should kind of roll a little bit. Yeah. It's got to line back up the panel so it looks like it belongs there. Definitely, uh, square peg in a round hole or a round peg in a round hole or whatever. It's a pretty simplistic in nature but still a bit of a, a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. A little hard to see it when it's uh, somewhat deconstructed but I think it's going to work. Should be uh, unlike anybody else's, which is the idea, I guess, or something. So after a uh, quick dip in the pool to cool off, it's still 105 degrees today. Uh, downing four or five margaritas, taking a slight nap. Uh, after that, uh, I'm back out here. Uh, oh, by the way, my uh, my wife bought a, a Cadillac Hearst while I was asleep. Um, apparently, she's got I don't know, plans of death for me. I don't know. I'll figure that out tomorrow. Anyways, uh, nursing my uh, mild headache at the moment here. I'm going to work on the bottom panel here, so hopefully, I can be a little more creative with uh, this garbage. We've actually been. Uh, Looking for a hearse for a little while for my wife's business, so she found one that she likes, and uh, hopefully it's not a complete pile of garbage. I'll see that tomorrow. Um, it's an interesting life I lead. From here, maybe something like that. That would bring it down. I do like that. I like it being at a slight angle, but not too much. What do you think? Genius or madman? I go for genius, personally. So after careful measurements with my Sharpie, I think this is my final shape here. Um, so I need to mock that up in a uh, piece of steel, because I'm going to have to cut all this out anyway. So I'll make it in metal, weld that in, well actually I'll tack it in, and then start the bottom here. Oh, so theorizing here with the top portion of this, came across this, a 90. So I wonder if I can trim this back here, that area and slide this in there and have that as the beginning of that roll in there. Obviously I'll have to trim all that out and get rid of most of it, but in terms of a beginning shape pattern, plus it gives me something to use as a buck. Uh, what do you think? Huh? Huh? Crazy? Not so crazy? Of course, maybe I should have it 
follow the trunk line. That way the two would match, and honestly, I think that's probably a better idea. All right, screw this idea. We'll go with that. That's the whole thing with doing, uh, you know, custom body work and these types of things. There's not like a rule book or having a bit of instruction guide. So it's kind of a, you know, touch and you go kind of a deal. You know, the guys who do uh, like handmade bodies, and I've done, you know, some of that work. You know, you start with a buck of some sorts, but short of uh, pulling on some foam or uh, some wood and building a, a solid buck here, which I don't think I need to for something this small. It's a uh, kind of a you know, paper mache uh, art uh, project there. It's really just arts and crafts. So, get this to match the trunk. Cut it somewhere in this area here. At least that's the, the shape, the shape I'm thinking here. It's pretty hard. <laughs> Making the panel itself is not rocket science. It's pretty simple. Uh, thinking it out, this is a real challenge. Because you've got width issues, you've got height issues, you've got curvatures. I mean, I can see it in my head. Or maybe that's just the voices. I don't know, but men are thinking out the easiest and best way to actually make it happen without having to make a whole new order pick. Might be easier. Well, back at it. After, uh, well, we went and ran this morning to go look at the hearse that Laura bought, but uh, that didn't work out so well. It actually was a pretty cool 69 Cadillac Hearst uh, with 8,000 original miles on it. But uh, the guy who was selling it, we'll refer to him as Cletus, um, doesn't take any form of payment other than cash. Even though I had plenty enough to put a deposit on it, he wouldn't accept it. And obviously you can't get money out of the bank on a Sunday. So that fell through and I was just tired of dealing with this bullshit. Anyhow, no big deal. Back onto the uh, taillights here. After thinking about these things all night long and about how they looked, I decided that I would move them in and up about an inch. I think that flows better, in my opinion, with the quarter panel. Um, obviously, we're dreaming some stuff here, but ultimately, this will roll and this will come down to about yonder. So, it needs a little little tweaker and still but I don't want it to stick out too far because I think it'll look funny at least in my opinion that's uh, you know took pictures to send it over to the uh, owner of the car and see what he has to say although it's my creative canvas <laughs> so after taking some measurements I've decided to cut the ring down a little bit I'm gonna trim it in about half I think that will fit everything better and easier for me to blend everything into. That should be a little bit better. First time always hurts the worst. So I left this here at least temporarily, once I weld everything on, then I'll 
probably get out there and clearance it, but at least it gives me something to work with now. Well, that came off. Well, that cherry's been popped. Now she belongs to the streets. Lovely road tar. Definitely takes a minute to get this stuff out of here. Between some cussing, some heat, maybe some black magic. Finally get this thing out where I can enough to weld it. So I went ahead and made this panel here to extend the quarter panel. Get that thing put in there. And then the quarter panel will come out, wrap around, we'll tie it into here, everything else. Already did this one here. I welded this in. And uh, I'll take and clean all this up here in a little bit here once I get all the crud out of there, off with the weld. But I'm going to get some 3 8 rod and bend that, you know, bend that in a shape here so everything flows, kind of get the, uh, the line of the panel I want. That at least give me something to work with uh, from a visual standpoint. I'm going to take and bend this. So what I got here to help me bend it is this the piece of half pipe that I got to use it to shape. I always try to keep different sizes and shapes and just weird stuff you find to help shape stuff on because it's uh, super handy. Just slide those two in together. On the marker. Put a little bend there. Something like that. Let's go see a uh, have a pit. And I think that shape is just about what I'm looking for. The quarter panel come up and then we'll mount the tail light to that and then work around it. And I gotta say that's uh, that'll put a little tickle in your pickle. I like that. Yes, safety first. Oh. There we go. Back in disguise. Ah, oh, yes. So it rolls off of here. Right on down there. I actually moved in a little bit from where I had her, had her originally, but uh, now I'll get my tail light. I'll mount something like this. I'll probably notch the bottom a little bit. Then when I get it all tacked in place and secure, then I'll cut the center out because I don't need it. But that there will put a tickle in your pickle. So trying to locate the sweet spot here. I like how that will tie in to the bottom. And then this will roll in because this will extend back. So I think that's there, which is that's going to be 10 inches. So I'm going to pack that there, then I'll start squaring everything up. See? Easy peasy. So with both of those tacked in place, kind of starting to get how this is going to feel. Obviously, that needs a tweak, but you get the idea. 
So just like Mrs. Simpson's uh, second grade art class. So we had a little paper mache there for mock up. It's actually taped, but it gives you kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. And I wanted this slope here to match that of the trunk. So everything looks like it should flow. It should just wrap around. So everything stays consistently shaped. I'm not super crazy about this area here, but there's not a whole lot I can do with that. At least at the moment. So I don't know, we'll see. Fill this stuff in. See, it's really nothing more than advanced arts and crafts. Anybody can do it. Welcome back. During the commercial break, I was able to get the passenger side completely done. Just like that. That's actually about five days worth of work, but uh, you know, for you, it's just a commercial. I didn't bother recording doing this one because there was a lot of trial and error. You know, sort of a lot of try this and try that, fit this, that doesn't work, this sucks, that doesn't look right. Um, and it's about, you know, two, three hours here and there. I got probably maybe six hours in this whole piece, so it's not too bad. It's only six pieces, actually. Um, but now I can pull some paper templates off it. We'll get this side going. Disco. So, sitting here working on uh, paper templates on the driver's side. So I can transfer that to the passenger side and hope they actually match. Um, usually it's nice when your car is not, you know, lopsided, but, you know, this helps. So this is just a simple, uh, you know, my post-it note paper. And uh, just trying to make it in small, manageable size pieces. You know, if your panel gets too big, it's kind of gets hard to manage unless you're using like a power hammer and kind of gives a little more a little more give, but working on an English meal in a small stretcher, uh, small pieces is uh, the easiest way. Um, so all this gives me kind of an idea of what I'm looking for here. So I got to do a little shrinking up there, tad bit of stretching there. So I'll make one, two, three pieces here, four pieces here, and then these filler pieces. Although maybe I'll do these first. I haven't really decided yet. It is definitely a little bit of a trial and error like anything. Now in reality, if I would have uh, taken and uh, maybe filled, let me show you, fill all this area with say foam or wood or whatever and shaped it down, I would have had a lot better buck to work with here, but uh, it seemed a little more complex than it was worth, honestly. But, you know, it comes together slowly by slowly. The thing with doing cheap metal, it's all working on little pieces and uh, just fitting it together. They actually probably take it less time to make more pieces and wall together than try to manage one large piece at one time because uh, you end up throwing that piece away. At least, that's what I do. The scrap bin is always full of uh, rough drafts. So there it is, gives me some general idea. At least I can start with the shape, cut a little bit longer, and then gives me somewhere to work. Looks like it knocked this out pretty quickly. Well, that's a starting point. So starting with my uh, paper template here, I'm marking my panel. Where the, uh, where the curves begin on both sides, because this is an inside and an outside. So I'm gonna use my pipe anvil to rough it in, and then I'll uh, finish it out with a planching hammer. This is where this becomes handy. You know, I got a little slot to stick my sheet metal in there, and kinda start roughing my shape. Back over here to the other side. over here for a test fit.
kind of starts to begin to fit what we need it to do. So I need a little bit more here, moving inside. And then a little bit more out here, starting there. You know, I've always got a ton of dollies and different pieces of metal and all that stuff lying around. And uh, it's really super handy. So if you can just find all the right shapes for the piece of metal that you're trying to make, then it's kind of the cheat code. That there is just about ready to weld. You we'll trim this lip here and disco. All right, got this one fit ready to go. Now I move on to the other one. I'm gonna grab my paper pattern here. using the shear all right let's try this again for some reason the uh, shear doesn't like little slices so a little uh little motor in the background and a little choppy chop Same thing with the other panel. I'm going to start here, so I'm going to mark where it starts to start the curve there. I'm going to throw a little, uh, couple passes at the English wheel and just give it a little more uh, crown. Maybe with like a 12 inch die. This is a relatively flat panel, so it's not too much there. Come on over here and check in with Grace. Give that a try. That's a good start. Now we'll go over to the pipe angle and start actually forming this thing. Get that little booger out of the way. Try that. That's dang near perfect. Just a little more on the end there. Just take and button this thing up a little bit here and getting close. So I got this panel all completed here. Um, it's ready to weld in at this point. I think I'm going to move on to the taillight extension here. So really just starting with nothing more than a uh, little triangle that uh, I made here. So this should be relatively simple to just get a shape on the uh, pipe anvil and get it going. That curve right, first of all. 
thing out of the way. We'll just have to keep tweaking that thing from here until uh, whenever and uh, see how that goes. Starting to look like something. Go tighten that up there. Starting to get there. I've managed to cut it too short, so that's just fantastic. Just about there. See? Easy peasy. Went ahead and welded the first panel on, mostly because I was tired of falling off the car. Um, my plan to weld that one off uh, off the car was not going to work out. There's no way to clamp it together. So, you know, it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. You just have to keep uh, working on pieces that you don't have the instructions for and have no idea what you're doing. The light is off. Beep. Got that all welded. I'm going to go ahead and just metal finish all this while I'm here and have access to it. That's looking a little bit better there. Get ready to burn that guy in. I got that tacked in with the mag. Light up the tank and burn it in solid. It's getting there. Well, it's getting there. Still got a little ways to go with the metal finishing, but uh, it's tightened up to a spot that I can uh, start doing the top pieces. So that, using the uh, vibrating sander here with the uh, red scotch bright pad. That's what gives the uh, the metal that nice, super smooth finish. It uh, makes everything look a little more presentable. Plus, you can throw some dicom on there, block it out, and it's easier to find all those low spots. I had to get a bigger garage. I'm stumbling through my garbage here. Anyways, uh, currently done for the day because uh, I'm hot and tired. So, we'll see, uh, well, I guess in a minute. Uh, to me, tomorrow. So today's adventures will be doing the top pieces. So if I can actually find my paper patterns, hopefully I can knock those out today and get this thing done. The uh, Deuce reunion, that would be the 32 Ford reunion, is this weekend and I want to go and I can't be stuck working on that thing. So back with my uh, paper pattern here, 
So get that cut out and make the first piece. This is for the uh, inner. Might need a little shaping. Put around my hand a little bit here. Look where to use a planching hammer today. We got the planching hammer here. This is uh, the one I made a, uh, a few episodes ago. Loud. Like, take and trim it there, get some of the fat off it. Keep on going. Starting to get there. I need to do a bit of stretching in this area. Bring that up. And uh, tighten this area up a little bit here. I'm trim probably most of this off up here, so. It's getting there. Try it. Boom, on. I think that baby's ready to burn in. is done uh, well my headphones here I get used to wearing the headphones I have three daughters so I've learned to uh, drown things out sometimes I forget I'm wearing them because it's so nice anyways down to the last piece here and then we can button it up tight so back to the paper pattern here I'll just rub my dirty ass thumb along the edge there Give me a good starting point. There you go. You know, I was at work today and uh, had a service call. You know, I do air conditioning. And uh, I seen the address and it was a Texas governor's mansion. So I go there and I go through all the security process, which is pretty lengthy to get in there. So it was pretty cool to go to the governor's mansion. I've never been there before. Got to walk around and look at some stuff. But the, the highlight uh, of that was I got to pet the governor's dog. You know, which, uh, you know, who doesn't like dogs, right? Tomorrow I have to go to the uh, SpaceX place and uh, fix Elon's crap, so. Always an adventure here in Texas. There's so much growth and things going on here in the Austin area that uh, it's pretty amazing the, the people and the things you come across. It is just, the construction here is just wild. It's uh, no longer the Lone Star State, it's the uh, you know forever construction state. That should be pretty easy to uh, knock out.
Not bad for homemade. So putting my paper template back on there, you can see how much the metal stretches in terms of the template. And I think that's ready to go. Not bad, not bad. Need to weld a couple pinholes up and throw a little dicom on there, block it out, do a little uh, bump and grind on that. And it's just about done. Almost there. Couple little things. We're ready to cruise. Hmm. Hold up a second here. It's actually raining outside. It hasn't rained in months. like magic from the sky. It's been 100 degrees, well it's 100 degrees today, but at least it's raining in 100 degrees, so it'll be super unpleasant later. I just can't wait. Yay! Well, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.